Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. So in this video, we will learn about functions. So in JavaScript, a function allows you to define a block of code, give it a name and then execute it as many times as you want. So let us take an example. So suppose in an organization, there are thousands of employees and you want to greet them. So in normal words, if you try writing console.log, and greeting them hello and employee name you need to write thousands of lines of code so instead of that you can introduce functions here so let me show you how it works so and before getting into that let me explain you the syntax of the function so we use the function keyword and here it is the function name and we can pass as many parameters as we want so suppose now we have we want employee name so we can pass employee name here and we can try writing code inside the functions. So let me show you with an example. So let me define a function and its name is greetings and let me pass employee name as parameter. So inside this I am going to write console.log of so hello plus employee name so now i have 10000 employees and i want to greet them so i can simply call this function function name and the variable so let me give my name first so greetings krishna so let us see what happens here so i am getting hello krishna as the output now if i want to greet some other person so I can simply call the function with inputting the variable let us take Aditya so now if I run I am getting hello Krishna hello Aditya so instead of writing console.log every time you can simply call the functions with the variables so this way you can write functions so this was a small example now let me explain you another example in calculating the grades so now there are thousands and lakhs of students and you want to calculate their percentage and grades. So let me calculate the percentage. So if, if I want to calculate the percentage, so instead of computing in each line, I can try introducing functions here. So let us see how it can be done. So now let us write a function. Calculate percentage so here I am going to input three subjects okay maths physics and chemistry and now I need to find the percentage of this three subjects and I want to pass another variable student name so to keep a track about percentages for each student. So now I will declare another variable total or sum of all subjects equals to maths plus physics plus chemistry and percentage equals to so let me take the total of all as 300 so 100 for each so i'll take the total as 300 so actual total of all so this is actual total so this is sum of all subjects so now sum of all subjects by actual total into 100 is the percentage now if i want to print this percentage so i'll print this way the percentage of student 
let me write the student name plus is percentage so this way you can write a function so let us call this function and see how it works so let me write my name krishna okay i got 90 marks so in physics i got 79 and chemistry i got 98 so let us see how this works so here the percentage of student krishna is 89 so this way i got the output so let us let us call this function for some other name so i am giving the input as aditya and his marks are 99 98 90 so let us see the output percentage of krishna is this much percentage of aditya is this much so this is pretty much simple so in this way we are writing a piece of code and reutilizing the same code so there is no need to write this code in multiple lines so we have defined it in the function and we are calling whenever we, re we require it so in this way we can reutilize the code i hope you have understood about functions so now i am going to give you an assignment write js code to print the multiplication table from 1 to 10 so i wanted to write a js code to print the multiplication table from 1 to 10 so hope you have understood functions please find the github links in the descriptions below thanks for watching